Welcome to Huntington Bank Stadium, home of the Minnesota Golden Gophers as we get set for what ought to be a terrific battle. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the USC Trojans, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Trojans will boot it away to start the game. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. First down here for the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. Just gets it to the 28 pickup of one. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Off the play fake. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Back to throw, it's Brosmer. Fires to the middle. Makes a connection. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Fires to the big fella. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots in the zones. You got to get him involved. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. And that is how you silence this raucous crowd. Defensively on the road. First drive of the game, setting the tone, getting a huge sack on third down. The Golden Gophers will punt it away on fourth down. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. On the return, it's Branch. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. First down for this offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Quickly out to the tight end. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Really nice pass right there. This guy's got a lot to live up to. So much pressure when you think about playing quarterback for the Trojans. Heisman winners, guys like Carson Palmer, Matt Leiner, Caleb Williams. There's a lot of people watching this guy hoping he can be the next great one at USC. And when you see throws like that, he gives you the hope that maybe, you know what, he might just be. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Trojans headed quickly to the line. It's 
looking to pass inside the red zone. Using the quick game. They've got it down to the three-yard line. Really well done on that throw and catch. Just like that, a hat trick of completions, and they're on the doorstep. Three plays, three beautifully executed plays. This offense is in a really good rhythm. This defense better change something quickly because this has been way too easy. Trying to power it in. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. Looking to the end zone on third and goal. Working that left side now. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. That's a good example of why location on throws is so important. It's third down, and if the quarterback just puts that in a better spot, his player can catch it and advance it and maybe get the first, but because he killed his receiver's momentum because of the poor throw, the defense was able to rally and make a stop. No good. And the score will stay right where it is after that miss. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. We'll see if they can dig one up that goes forward this time on second down from the 18. Looking for a man. It's Grosmer. Fires to the big fella. They make the stop. Trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. So an example of a tight end doing a little unheralded work to set up a much better third down situation. And I like the QB here, Reese. I like the decision where I understand, let's get this football out, let's get some positive yards, and then get to third down. And we can still have a better situation now because we got rid of the football and took the yards that were there. Finds his big tight end. Good call, good execution as they move the chains and they have a first down at the 38. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them covered. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. And that's a really good job on the defense, reacting to what they see. They see the quarterback flipping forward on the touch pass. Now i got to go get it, right? Corral that football. He picked up some yards, yeah, but you didn't give up that big explosive play. And now you have to make him earn it now on the next down. Wants to fire on second down. Quick strike complete. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. And the Golden Gophers are flying down the field. The give to the tailback. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Oh. 
single back formation and they give it to him. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance. And then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. A little screen to the running back. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Hey, man, sometimes you get the perfect play call at the perfect time. That time, the defense blitzing. Offensive line allowed everybody to run upfield, and they slip in the running back screen, and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. The give is to Taylor. Brought down after picking up three down to the 22. Nice run there on first down. You know this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're gonna wanna make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. From the gun, running back on the move. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. The Golden Gophers looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carrier. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, boom, and making the backfield for a tackle for a loss. Going right down the boulevard. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. Looking for blockers. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. You definitely want to commit to the run game. You, you want to establish the run game. You want the defense to honor it. But if it doesn't work a little later down the road, you might think about Aaron now. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. We'll start the quarter off. It's about to snap it on second down. Takes the handoff. It's O'Neal. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there, but they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You got to be able to make that play. The Trojans will line up to punt it away. Yeah. 
excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. I think it's for the play caller right now, just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs managed, but the way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Now the play fake. Looking to the big tight end. He's got it. And they'll spot it at the 45. That's good enough for a first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Here's the handoff. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. And it's just simple, simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Solid pickup of four on first down, it's second and six. Caught over the middle, it's Jackson. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far, but starting to get things moving, it's first and ten. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Finds his man. It's Jackson. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is gonna play way too many snaps. This time, they'll go to the running game. They make the stop, give him three yards on the carry, balls at the 24. That's a really nice play. It's impressive. Once first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up, you can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line, second and seven. To the air, it's Brosmer. He finds his man. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense, next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. And the Golden Gophers trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. It's complete! And he will score! Touchdown, Minnesota! point they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10 so it's a 73 yard touchdown drive and they cap things off with a nine yard touchdown pass the kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away 
He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And, and listen, the defense will get this back and get some stock follow and get you the football back. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. And I love taking deep shots. I think it makes quarterbacks play on as safeties play on as, and you can tell, just missed a little bit deep on that shot. But listen, those are shots that we want to take because the risk is definitely worth the reward. To the air, it's Moss. Quickly complete. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contained. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field and get him to the ground. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Grabbed over the middle. It's Branch. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. This is a very tough slot receiver to cover if you're a linebacker because of how quick and how shifty he is. You never seem to know which way he's going, and he always seems to create an open space for his QB. And the Trojans will hustle for the line. From the gun on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they've dug their heel in the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Trojans will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Minnesota has it back, and the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. That last drive, an absolute aerial assault for the touchdown, Jesse. It was a nice job in play calling, too, David, just giving the quarterback some easy looks and reads so he could go out and execute. And he knew exactly where to go with the football. Everything looked really, really easy. He was hot. The ball was coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. From the gun, the running back has it. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? That back had nowhere to go. Defensive line eight of the blocks. But how about the linebackers swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball here? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. They'll go right back to it. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. Third down conversions are a huge stat. And this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pressure coming. And they can't make the connection on third down. Yeah, it fell incomplete because he did a great job of getting to the quarterback. He's in the pocket. Yeah, he's, he's comfortable. But you get in there and you get a hit on him. Now he feels it. Can't throw the football. Can't follow through with his arm motion. Nice job by the defense. The Golden Gophers will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
and he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damage when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down and second and seven. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Man, what a play by that defensive lineman. You, you could say he was channeling his inner power. And that's what defensive linemen do. Big, fast, one of the most athletic players on the field. Getting to the backfield, just beautiful. You know, you could have shown a little humility there and said, oh, shucks, or something. Ah, shucks, or something. Feeling some heat. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. And how about the offense, man? You run a little play action. I, I can just tell you, third and long, as a pass rusher, I'm going to get the quarterback. I don't care about the play action. I'm not biting on it, and neither did the defense. And the Trojans decide to punt it away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The bear catch just inside the 40. Give to the running back. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. Off play action. Fires to the tight end. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. It's not a great feeling on defense, too. When you're blitzing, you're expecting to get a sack. You're expecting to get a hit on the quarterback. If the offensive line and running backs pick it up, uh-oh, because now you have one less guy in the back end trying to cover all these receivers and tight ends and you know you're in trouble. Now across the 50 and at the 48-yard line, they'll have it first and 10. Hand off from the shotgun. Keeps the legs moving. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Second down coming up. To the air, it's Brosmer. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Hey, we're getting close to halftime, and it looks as if the big fella wants to be all over the highlights. Goodness gracious, he, he is open. When he leaves the huddle, apparently he's open. A ton of catches already early in this ball game. They are featuring him and finding him. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Grab near the marker, it's Williams. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're gonna have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. He wants to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Man, this defense, they have got to get better in coverage if they want to get off the field anytime soon. You keep defending like that, this offense might hang 50 on you by the end of the game. And the Golden Gophers will try to put one on the board on first and goal. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to throw it again. Got his man quickly. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You could tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. 
defense rose up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Fires into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Was to throw for it on third and goal. He's got it, and he will score. Touchdown, Golden Gophers. Effective offense leading the way here and establishing this lead. And that's how you draw it up, right? You want to come out and click it early, get everything going. What to get all the facets rolled. The defense right now on their heels, they have no answers. The offense doing whatever they want. Kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And they closed the deal with the seven-yarder for the score. So they got the touchdown now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the move from inside is five. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. All wide outs, no backs. To throw, it's Moss. He's got it down the middle. At the 40, there he goes. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Use the play fake, now to throw. Mahoney drops it on the crossing route on first down. He knew that defense was bearing down on him. It'll be second down. Man, that's one you expect him to make it his sleep, right? He's one of the better receivers in the entire country. He just dropped that one over the middle of the field. Let's see which way they go after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 39. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They go to the ground. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. The Trojans send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No fair catches here, looking for room. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. One more play before the team's head to the locker room. Taylor has it. Discards a man. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. up and ready to go here in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Got him downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
that type of big play can even make travel or perk up and take notice. Hey, man, when I think about USC and just their past, I just think about explosive. Explosive playmakers making explosive plays down the field, finding those big wide receivers, making big plays. Out of the gun, the running back has it. We'll give him a couple on that with second and eight coming up. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. And the Trojans want to crank the tempo. Back to pass, it's Moss. Fires to the wide out. Wide open downfield. Speeding down the left side. Touchdown, USC! He broke away from the defense and they couldn't catch him. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. If you can string a few more drives like that together, man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of scoring. to attempt to try. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they capped off the drive with a big play through the air, scoring from 50 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Off play action on first down. Looking to scramble. He's going to take off. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. You see a lot of quarterbacks get in trouble when they start forcing things. He did a really good job. He wanted to throw the football. You can tell drops back. Nothing open. It's okay. I'm just going to take off and get what I can get. Let's see what they've got on second down. He leaves it with his back. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Lining up to convert third down. On the run, it's Grosmer. Fires downfield. On target over the middle. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. It's all about critical downs and distances on defense. You want to be great unit defensively, you've got to be good on third down and in the red zone. For this defense giving up a third down like that, that is just a gut punch. Going up top on first down. Makes the catch, it's Jackson. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Yeah, you throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. Looking at a second and short now. The give is to Taylor. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. They're facing a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. All right, that's one the offensive line has got to be able to communicate and pick up. When that inside linebacker comes running through the A gap or the B gap, those O-linemen, they've got to work together and they've got to pass guys off to one another to make sure they pick him up. They didn't do it that time.
the Golden Gophers will send out the punt unit. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. That ball will make its way out of bounds, and they'll mark it dead at the 15. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They cut into the deficit the last time they had it, forced the punt, and now they can really make this a game. And you're right back in this thing. You're creating some momentum. You got to score. You got to stop. This offense, Jesse, has a chance now to make this an absolute barn burner of a ball game. Yeah, it's one play at a time, though, right? You're not going to get it all back in one play. Just go out, do your job, execute, keep this thing going down the field. And if things go well, like David said, we've got a game. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Copeland. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Doesn't SC always seem to have a quarterback right out of central casting and one that'll pick up a first down for you with his arm? Yeah, and, and it doesn't matter the year. It just doesn't matter the number. It continues to churn out. They find those guys just such an easy place to recruit when you got that kind of pedigree you always find superstars at the quarterback spot trying play action throws to the wideout got his man downfield and they'll finally catch up to him but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up well, this offense knew coming into this game they wanted to try to attack the middle of the field in the passing game, and they're able to execute the in route there. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. Motion from the offense. Caught in the backfield, it's Branch. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Well, we see another catch by this guy. This defense is going to need to do a better job of tackling the catch. In coverage, I know they want to slap the ball away, but if you can't do it and force the incompletion, you've got to at least make sure you're able to drag him down to the ground as soon as he catches the ball. He'll keep it himself. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decision. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, Trojans. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they close it to a 17-14 game. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. There's just so much for this defense to think about right now. They've had 
had strong side runs thrown out. Now they counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. Give to the back. Makes it past the marker. Tackle is made after the first down. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. And the Golden Gophers have it with a first and 10. Been showing them the run, now they'll throw it. He's got the tight end. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Taylor has it. They worked that running game down to the 34. Let's give him three on the carry. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him out of the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. They'll run it from the gun. Pass the sticks, and he may get more. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. There's really no secret to it, David. When this guy's running well, this offense is so hard to stop. It opens up everything, and he's having a great day, showing you a little bit of everything, and this offense has got it rolling on the ground. Running back searching for a hole. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. The Golden Gophers are threatening on first and goal. Pushes for the goal line. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Great play by the defense there. And listen, they got to do more of this. Running backs obviously had a lot of success. They got to continue to stop this run game, be physical, and not let this guy beat him. Can the D deny them on second and goal? On the ground. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Minnesota! Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. attack one more onto that lead and the extra point will tack another one onto this lead so an 82 yard drive there and close the deal with a three yard touchdown run kickoff team is on the field they'll try to drive this one deep fielded in the end zone it's branch Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Wow, this offense is doing nothing. They've already punted four times and staring at the possibility of a fifth. 
trying to make magic with his feet. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. Well, he does a really nice job buying time, and I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. They'll snap it on first down from the 35. They'll leave it with him. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Scanning the field, it's Moss. Gets it out quickly. He stopped at the 48, a pickup of 10 on the play. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. The Trojans are marching down the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. A strike downfield. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. And man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. And the Trojans have it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he'll be stopped for no gain, still sitting at the three-yard line. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. Got nothing last time. Now second and goal from the three. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Lead in the game, and the confidence is building if only there's enough time to finish. Time is ticking, but man, you gave yourself a chance now. Now the defense, go out, do your job. We got the moment. If you give me the ball back, I'm going to win. Let's go, defense. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They put together an 81-yard drive and close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he'll return it and try to get behind his blockers. And the returner will be dragged down. Minnesota has it back in the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. Looking for a crease to the left. That hole closed quickly, a pickup of one to the 15. And this is a pressing time for this defense. They, they've got to understand, they're backed up a little bit. They're going to run the football. They don't want to make a mistake. So I think this is the time I'm a little bit more aggressive. i, I got to get this football back to my offense because I'm trailing. So I look for this defense to get a little bit aggressive. Looking to throw, it's Grosmer. Pocket starts to collapse. Gets it out fast. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. That was a nice pickup, running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field, and you saw that right there. Fast motion from the offense. Leaves it with the running back. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches in this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. 
Wants to throw on second down. Using the quick game. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Complete to the left. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with the first down. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And the Golden Gophers getting set on first and ten. To the ground with the back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. He's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The play action fake. Unloads to the right. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Good execution. They move the sticks, and they've got it at the 33. Love the play call offensively because you've got the lead. The defense expects you to run the ball. You just did it the previous play, so there you dial up play action, set up an easy throw, and you keep the clock ticking. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Looking to move it through the air. Makes his connection. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. This is so interesting right now, watching this offense stay aggressive. They've got the lead in the fourth quarter, and you're thinking at home, we got to just run the ball and try to bleed the clock. They found something on defense they're taking advantage of. Two straight completions. I won't be surprised if they throw it again. Wants to throw. It's Grosmer. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. He'll try to take it back. At the 30. He's at the 10. Touchdown Trojans! The defense puts six on the board with a big-time interception return. How about that play by this defense? The offense trying to salt the game away with the lead. Defense makes the biggest play of the ball game, getting the pick, finding the end zone, and taking the lead late in this ball game. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. This possession will be a test after squandering that long drive, throwing a big six, Jesse. You're right, Reese. Well, I think this is really dependent, too, on the leaders in this huddle right now to step up and help this offense get back on pace here on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is frothing at the mouth. They're excited. They're jacked up. They just made a big play. They got all the momentum, so they're ready to hunt. The give to the back. Runs ahead and powers his way for four yards out to the 30. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. This quarterback part of their running game. Just nowhere to go against this defense to find that single yard he needed on third down. The Golden Gophers will bring the punt team onto the field. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He gets a block. 
He turns like that and why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Caught in the backfield, it's O'Neal. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. You know, you got to be careful as a QB throwing to your running back in man coverage. If there's a linebacker draped all over him, but that, that ball's not going anywhere. You just saw it right there. Better play by the defense. Here comes the offense on second down. Back to pass, it's Moss. Unloads to the wideout. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. That play call is going to force a lot of people to scratch their heads because you've got the lead late. Why aren't you just running the ball? When you throw, you risk having interceptions like that right there. That should have been picked. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. It's complete. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. The RPO, it's complete. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second five, third and five. It is when we start getting those long yardage situations. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. You know what's interesting? At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball, and because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now, back to back. The Trojans look to keep this drive humming. Using his legs, it's O'Neal. Able to get one down to the 15. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. Clock continues to run, and they'll be happy to wind it all the way down before they snap it. Dropping back, it's Moss. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. Stopped after making the catch. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great mood. They love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. He's got it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Southern Cal. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. They're lining up to boot it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Minnesota has it back in the Gopher offense is headed onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. That's reeled in at Spencer. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. You can tell this quarterback did his homework coming into this game. He has been dissecting this defense with his arm and his mind. Over 300 yards passing now. 
And the Golden Gophers want to pick up the tempo. Dropping back, it's Brosmer. It's complete to the left. The guys have the backfield now. It's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You've got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game. And i got to be able to throw you the football. And you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on it. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Just led him a little too far across the sidelines. Makes the catch, but it's incomplete. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Pass on the way. It's picked off. That should be the nail in the coffin. What a great break on the football. Getting the big turnover. You got the lead. Now just go out there, be smart on offense, and run that clock. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Halfway there on first down and second and five. On the ground, it's O'Neal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. They'll need to get the ball to the 34 to convert this third down. They'll try the run. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the field goal unit is on the field. Oh, that one will leave a mark. No good. After the miss, still an 11-point game, guys. Well, that's now the second missed field goal for this kicker. And I'll tell you this, you can't blame the weather for all this. This is a beautiful day. He needs to do better executing these field goals. Minnesota offense is headed back onto the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. He's got it inside the 30. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Golden Gophers! Yeah, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. you got to get the football back. you got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside, to get the football back, to get back in this football game. So the first part of the job is done. They got the touchdown. Now for the two to make it a field goal game. Looking downfield, it's Brosmer. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two-point conversion, and that could be big as it draws them to within a field goal. Just over a minute and a half to play as they line up for the onside kick in what is likely their last gasp in this game. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Line gets set, first down. And they'll take a knee. Victory formation is so sweet, and the best part is when you're on the road and all those home fans start taking off, and all those cheers, all those loud noise, you don't hear them anymore. It's really fun. 